The speaker on behalf of the entire membership of the House of Representatives offers House Resolution Number 1-0, a resolution of tribute offered as a memorial for the Reverend Michael C. Murphy, former member of the House of Representatives. Whereas, it was with great sadness that the members of this legislative body learned of the passing of former Representative Michael C. Murphy. Well respected and loved, he dedicated his life to community service and social justice through the lens of his faith and made a lasting impact on the people of Lansing and our entire state. And whereas a native of Chicago, Michael Murphy was an activist and leader uniquely capable for working for social change through his church, his community, and state and local government. He received his bachelor's degree from DePaul University and a master's degree from Michigan State University. Following his calling, he went on to receive a Master of Divinity and a Doctorate in Ministry from the Chicago Theological Seminary. An active member of the Lansing community, he served as a Senate staff member, led Lansing's Human Relations and Community Services Department, advised Governor Blanchard on children's services, and served on the Lansing City Council. In 1987, he founded the St. Stephen's Community Church in Lansing. And whereas, in 2000, Michael Murphy was first elected to the House of Representatives representing the 68th House District, comprising a large part of the city of Lansing. For the next six years, Michael Murphy was a soft-spoken leader, willing and able to reach across the aisle to find common ground on the issues facing our state. He was chair of the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus during his final term in office and co-chair of the Legislative Children's Caucus. During his tenure, he successfully championed legislation to protect children, promote public health, and ensure school safety, notably sponsoring the Jasmine Miles School Children's Safety Act. And whereas, upon his retirement from the legislature, he moved to Washington, D.C. to serve as senior pastor of the People's Congregational United Church of Christ. In this role, he was active regionally and nationally in promoting his church and its legacy of spirituality, community service, and social activism. While he returned to Lansing often, he served in this role until his death. Now therefore be it resolved by the House Representatives that we offer this expression of our highest tribute to honor the memory of Reverend Michael C. Murphy, a member of this legislative body from 2001 to 2006, and be it further resolved that copies of this resolution be transmitted to the Murphy family as evidence of our last lasting esteem for his memory. Will all members in favor of the resolution please rise? The resolution is adopted. The speaker recognizes Representative Shore. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, members of the body. Um, it's a very sad day to be standing here um, to have to, to have this resolution. Uh, Reverend Dr. Representative Michael C. Murphy uh, served in this body with distinction um, in the early 2000s. I was on the county commission at the time and a, a staffer in the house um, and I learned so much from him, so much from, for being an elected official um, and for how to treat people. Um, he was a leader here in the house as was mentioned in the resolution, um, especially interested in health and human service issues. He was focal in passing the Jasmine Miles uh, School Children's Safety Act which added sidewalks, school crossings and other safety measures for uh, school children's safety as they cross the street to get to school. Um, he chaired the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus. Um, but outside of that, he was a, a great and respected leader in our community, in the greater Lansing area. Not only as a, as a, a member and president of the Lansing City Council, um, but he would say he wasn't a politician. He was first and foremost a, a pastor preacher. Um, he founded St. Stephen's Community Church and served as the pastor there for over 20 years. Uh, and he went on to become the senior pastor of the People's Congregational United Church of Christ in Washington, D.C., but still maintained all of his connections here in Lansing. I'd run into, on, into him on the street all the time. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in D.C.? And he'd say, no, no, I live here. This is my community. Um, and uh, to show, the, the Lansing Magazine named Representative Murphy as, as one of the 100 most influential people in the greater Lansing area uh, in the mid-2000s. Um, and on top of all that, he was an advocate for social justice issues and civil rights issues 
um, following in the footsteps of his father, who worked with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, so we've got members of the, of the family here. Um, we have uh, Mrs. Bonita Clark Murphy. Um, we have his son, Brandon, and uh, his daughter, Danielle, and, his, and, um, and Representative Murphy's daughter, Rachel, and her daughter, London, here with us. We also have former State Representative Joan Bauer and current State Senator Curtis Hertel, both who knew um, Representative Murphy well, um, as I know did uh, um, the Democratic floor leader Sam Singh and Representative Tom Cochran, both all of us who worked with him. Uh, in the gallery, we have many people. Um, we've got Marilyn Plummer on my staff, Pastor Albert Kelly, Martha Adams, Donald Nevon Williams, Barbara Roberts Mason, Yvonne Young McConnell, Linda Sims Wright, Lee and Shirley June, Reverend PJ Anderson, Carnell Walker, Michelle Miles, um, who uh, is, uh, was the mother, I believe, of Jasmine Miles, uh, Melvin Farmer, and uh, Melvin McWilliams. And if I forgot anybody, I apologize. But Mr. Speaker, if we could uh, welcome them to the House. Members, would you all please rise and join me in welcoming our special guests, both here on the floor and in the gallery.